Salvatorian presence in the Philippines started in 1973 with the foundation of the Salvatorian Sisters community. The male Salvatorian community started in 1996 with the arrival of four Polish Salvatorian fathers, Father Bogusław Loska, Father Tadeusz Jordan, Father Michael Smiatek, and Father Jarek Czuba. Unfortunately, they left the mission one by one after a short time until Father Jarek was left alone in 1999. He stayed until 2002 and transferred then to parish ministry in Canada. At the beginning, the members lived in various rented places like the Scalabrinian Formation Center in 7th Street, New Manila, Quezon City, a block away from our Salvatorian sisters. Then Paranaque City, then they transferred to another rented house in Tandang Sora, Quezon City. Finally, they were able to buy our first house and lot in Loyola Heights. This house was remodeled and renovated in 2000. During that time, the community stayed in Barangay Mariana, New Manila at 4th Street. In February 2001, they moved into the newly renovated house in Nicano Reyes Street in Loyola Heights. This house became the headquarters and official address of our unit. After the general chapter in Graz, Austria in 1999, the Philippine Foundation was determined to be the formation center for East Asia. Father Wojciech Jurasek, SDS, was appointed as new superior. He would be superior for the coming 10 years until 2009. Under his leadership, the communities in Loyola Heights, Talon, and New Manila were established. Around the turn of the millennium, vocation promotion was started in China, Philippines, and Sri Lanka, with successes and failures. It was a very humble beginning. In 2001, in cooperation with the Taiwan Vicariate and the Salvatorian Sisters in Sri Lanka, we were able to establish our first novitiate with three Chinese and one Sri Lankan novice under the first novice master, Father Yarek Chuba. Additional fathers came to join the community. Father Jacek from Poland stayed only one year more or less. In October, Father Hubert Granz from Germany arrived and in December, Father Artur Swarnowski from Poland. Both of them still survive up to the present day. It was also during this year, in November, that the first group of aspirants comprising of four Sri Lankans, one Chinese and one Filipino, with Father Wojtek as superior and Father Jacek as formator, moved to a rented house in St. Ignatius Village, Quezon City, to give place to Loyola as novitiate house. This was the beginning of a second community in the Philippines, which would later form the first group in Talon. On December 22, 2001, Fathers Wojtek, Arthur and Hubert visited Bishop Luis Antonio Tacle, Bishop of Imus, to ask his approval for opening a formation house in Talon in his diocese. His predecessor, Bishop Manuel Sobreviñas, gave already the permission to settle down in the diocese of, diocese of Imus, but the procedures were not yet done. So we had to approach the new bishop who had been ordained just days, 10 days earlier and is now cardinal and prefect of Propaganda Fide in Rome. Through the help of the Salvatorian sisters, a piece of land in Talon, Amadeo Cavite, was bought for the construction of a new formation house for the philosophy students. From October to December 2001, the fence was built. On January 5, 2002, the groundbreaking ceremony in Talon took place and the construction of the building began. On March 19, the same year, we celebrated the first vows of four novices in Loyola Heights. Among them are now Father Peter Li Baoping from China and Father Babu from Sri Lanka. On April 3, Father Wojtek and Father Hubert transferred the aspirants to SVD in Tagaytay. We rented the Finneman Hall inside the SVD campus while the house in Talon was still under construction. Father Hubert was assigned as local coordinator. In June, the first students of philosophy begin their studies at the University of La Salette, Ilan campus. 
On June 16, we celebrated the Foundation Day of Ballon. We had the first Mass in the half-finished house. Father Pete Köpers represented the General Aid and announced officially the establishment of a new community in Talon. In September, Father Adam Janus visited the Philippines for the first time to inquire about our situation. At that time, he was still a student of spirituality in Madrid, Spain. Before Christmas, the house in Talon was completed. On December 23, Father Hubert and the philosophy students transferred from SVD to the new house in Talon. The community consisted of Father Hubert, five Sri Lankans, among them were now Fathers Prabhu and Damien, and one Filipino who is nowadays Father Wilson Kadabai. The house blessing took place on December 31, officiated by Bishop Luis Antonio, Antonio Tagle from the Diocese of Imus. In 2003, Father Wojtek initiated vocation promotion in Vietnam, whereas Father Arthur is in charge of vocation promotion in Sri Lanka and China. Father Vinoy from India spent most of 2003 in Talon. He had an exposure in the Rogate printing press in Lalaan, Silang, and assisted Father Hubert in the formation work. House and lot was bought at 11th Street, Mayana, New Manila, Quezon City. Renovation started to house the newly arriving brothers coming from Sri Lanka, China and Philippines. Father Wojtek became local coordinator in New Manila and took care of English education for the new brothers. On January 10, 2004, the house in New Manila was blessed by Bishop Onesto Onkyoko, Bishop of Cubao, and named in honor of the Mother of the Savior. On May 1, 2004, the second novitiate in the Philippines started with the new novice master, Father Arthur. Father Sunil from India assisted him during this year because we had four Indians in this batch. The following year, on May 1, 2005, they professed their first vows. Three novices are still Salvatorians. Father Noble from India, Father Simon from China, and the first Filipino Salvatorian, Father Wilson Catapa. In 2004, the first group of Vietnamese candidates arrived in the Philippines. In the beginning of January 2005, Father Adam Janus joined our mission. He was assigned as formator in Talon and became superior of the East Asian Mission Vicariate in 2012. In April 2005, we started a new tradition in Talon, during the summer vacation, our community organized a summer class for the children and youth in Talon. On February 2, 2007, Father Peter Li Bao Ping was ordained in the Cathedral of Yanxian, China. He is the first Salvatorian priest from the young generation. Father Wojtek and Father Hubert joined the occasion. On May 1, 2007, we celebrated the first profession of Dominique Yang from China, Jesu Rachan Tiban and Damien Peries from Sri Lanka, and Johnson and Stephen Lewis from India. This is a very unique novitiate batch because nobody of them left. All five of them are ordained Salvatorians. Brother James Reedon from the US province joined our mission in the years 2007 until 2009. He was very helpful for the English students. Moreover, he was very instrumental for the foundation of Puso Sapuso. With his inspiration and support, Father Arthur founded the Puso Sapuso organization. The first Puso Sapuso Christmas party took place on December 6, 2008 in Del Pan Sports Center in Parola. It can be considered as the beginning of Puso Sapuso. Brother James was given a very emotional and beautiful despedida on July 25, 2009 in Talon. He was very much appreciated and respected by everybody. Unfortunately, he died of cancer already on September 2, 2010. The U.S. province was generous enough to send another confrere to replace Brother James, and this was beloved Father Greg Coulthard. 
He arrived in the Philippines shortly before the departure of brother James in 2009. In 2008, Father Günther from Germany joined our mission as senior member. He served five years as a formator and teacher in Talon and one year as spiritual director in Humanila until his return to Germany in 2014. Father Günther already passed away on December 10, 2020. The same year Father Bogdan, Benny Swinar, arrived in the Philippines. He served as formator and teacher in Talon until his return to Poland in 2015. One milestone of our pastoral activities is surely the foundation of the Father Jordan Youth in Talon in 2008. In later years, the activity was expanded to Father Jordan children and to neighboring Barangay Maimanga. The year 2009 was a year of many changes. The construction of New Manila House started. For this purpose, the community had to transfer to a rented house in nearby Horseshoe subdivision. The old community house was entirely demolished and a new construction started from the scratch. On May 9, Deacon Wilson Kataba SDS was ordained priest and cleric Rabu Jesu, Jesus Michael Racha was ordained deacon at Mary Magdalene Parish Amadeo by His Excellency Luis Antonio Tacle, Bishop of Demos. Now we had our first Filipino priest and our first Sri Lankan deacon. On May 19, Father Wojtek left the Philippines after 10 years of service. He went back to Poland and then joined a new mission in Mexico. Father Christopher Kowalczyk from Poland took over as the superior in midst of the ongoing construction project in Humanila. He arrived earlier that year from his previous assignment in Australia. On December 8, 2009, the East Asian Foundation was elevated to Vicariat and became the East Asian Mission Vicariat. Father Chris became officially the first East Asian Mission Vicariat Superior until he was assigned as General Counselor in 2012 and had to leave for Rome. On May 1, 2010, we had a celebration of vows in Talon. Among the brothers who professed their vows is Joseph Kong. He is now the first professed member from Vietnam. In 2010, we had our first annual Mindoro medical mission to assist the Mangyan people in Occidental Mindoro. It is a joint activity with the Immaculate Sisters in Banai Banai and volunteers. On May 7, the New Manila community moved into the new house in 11th Street. Ten days later, on May 17, 2010, we had the house blessing ceremony with Bishop Onesto Ongchoko from the Diocese of Cubao. In 2011 was the first vocation promotion trip of Father Arthur and Father Wilson to Timor-Leste, and after visiting the second time to Indonesia, visited Malaysia to meet the first possible candidate from Melaka through the help of our Malaysian Salvatorian sisters. In 2012, Father Vinoy from India came a second time to the Philippines. This time he was appointed rector of New Manila community. The last novices of Father Arthur made their first vows on May 1, 2012. These are Paul Nock and Florencio Ompa Jr. The day before a new novitiate with five new novices began. Our English students were transferred from New Manila to Loyola House, while the novitiate was transferred to a rented house in Champagne Street, SSS Village, Marikina City. Father Hubert was appointed as the new novice master. Father Wilson was transferred from Talon Community to New Manila to serve as formator, treasurer and vocation promoter. He has regular trips to Indonesia and Timor-Leste. On March 19 to 27, 2014, the Continental Synod took place in the Betania Retreat House in Tagaytay City. This was the first Continental Synod ever in the society. The entire general aid from Rome was present and representatives from all Asian units. 
The final profession of Clary Chufei and Clary Joseph Kong, followed by their deacon ordination on April 5, 2014, in New Manila. That was the first ordination ever that took place in the Mother of the Savior house. Also place and time of the novitiate were shifted. The new novitiate began on June 1, 2014 in the SMA Formation House in Barangay Biluso, Silang, Cavite. We were looking for a new place and the SMA wanted to rent out their empty formation house. But we continued to rent the house in Marikina. It was used by the second year English students from Loyola Heights under the leadership of Brother Jeffrey from the US province. In 2015, the house was still used by the Regency program under the leadership of Father Simon from China. In 2016, Marikina community was closed down again. In March 2016, Father Prasa took over the office of Rector of Scholastics from Father Vinoy, who returned to India. On June 3, 2016, was the ordination to priesthood of Father Francis Kadrim in New Manila. He is the first ordained Vietnamese Salvatorian. While the first vows of Cyrillus Echo on June 1, 2017, we have the first professed member from Indonesia. On May 6, 2018, Deacon Joseph Kong was ordained priest in Vietnam. June 3, 2018, was the ordination to priesthood of Father Florencio Ompat in Amadeo. June 16, 2018, first profession of Clary Gabriel da Costa, who is the first professed member from Timor Leste. And on December 11, 2018, was the priestly ordination of deacons Joseph Tree, Dominic Dung, and Paul Ngoc in Vietnam. In 2019, the Salvatorian Learning Institute for English Studies in Loyola Heights was inaugurated. The final vows, deacon ordinations and priestly ordinations of the last three years show the growth and the development of our unit. This is namely about our conferers Peter Rong, Christopher Osares, Joselito Fernandez, James Jimenez, Ren Hao, Andrew Tai, Dominic Kang, Paul Tin, Paul Jung, Dominic Hue, and Francis Huang. We had also great developments in our structures. On December 8, 2020, a new formation house was blessed. And in the Philippines, a new novitiate house is at the brink of completion. In 2018, a lot was purchased in Barangay Balubat, Silan. The same year, the construction of the fencing wall began and in the following year, the construction of the building started. In the meantime, the novitiate had to be transferred from Biluso to Talon in June 2020 because the SMA needed their house for themselves. Now the novices are looking forward to the transfer to the new house. This September 8, 2021, we set a new historical milestone in our history. The house in Balubat will serve as a home for Salvatorian novices from all over Asia. We thank the Lord for the blessings of the last 25 years, and we are looking forward with trust and confidence in God's providence to the years to come.